Yo, what's up? Joshua Casper here. Welcome to an Able to Nine tutorial. Um, I'm gonna hold off on doing music type stuff until I knock out these setting it up type tutorials. Um, there's probably not enough out there, or maybe there is, I haven't really looked, but I figured I'd put some out anyway. Like, um, today's is gonna be on installing Max for Live devices. Um, first thing you want to do if you have Max for Live is come into the Ableton uh, website, click on the Packs tab, and then sort Max for Live devices, and then probably go ahead and download all of these. But a good place to start would be the building tools and the essentials. So go ahead and download those two. And once you've done that, it downloads it downloads an ALP file. And what that is, it's it's, it's a kind of like a homemade installer for Ableton. So um, once they're downloaded, go ahead and open up Ableton, minimize, and then find the ALP file you just downloaded and double click to install. And then go back to Ableton, and then in a second it's gonna say preparing installation. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let that get to 100%. Let's see how quick it's gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut the video and come back. It looks like it's got a lot to install. Okay, now that it's installed, um, I haven't done anything, but what it does is opens up, um, and this is for all of the Max for Live ALPs you're going to download for the site. It's going to open up a dialog box, an info view, if, and you want to come in and check out um, more about the pack you just installed. And um, there are numerous numerous pages about it. I suggest you read all of that verbiage. And also, it installs it right into PAX. Um, in the new uh, browser window down here, we have a place called PAX, and that's where everything is going to install. So as you can see, M4L is Max for Live, obviously. And uh, the new building tools is what I just installed, and there are all my files ready to use. Now, if you go to the Max for Live site and you download a user device, uh, the way to install those is a little bit different. Um, you have to create a directory. So I have documents, Ableton, user library. And then I've created a folder. This folder wasn't there. I created it, and it's just called the Max for Live. And inside, I have dropped a user-made um, Max for Live device. Now, in the future, I'm going to have to add folders like audio device and MIDI device and visual device. But all of that, as I add those folders, will just get updated. And when I need to come to them, I'll just come to Places, User Library, Max for Live, and then all of that directory will be right there. So that's the, it's just like a DLL VST type um, file. You just drag it to where you want it to be, and then you navigate to it when you want to use it. Anyway, um, I hope that helps in some useful information. Uh, hold tight on the music, actual music tutorials, because I'm going to bang out a couple of these um, just to make sure we're all on the same page before we get started. Anyway, we'll see you next time.